Eddie, you brought the bad weather with you. I did. We've 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 uh, finally got round to having a wee chat about uh, this disc that you sent us out, and we had to do it inside the shade. I think it's the first time we've had to do it now because the rain's on. Yeah. Well, anyway, Eddie, who are you? Basically, I'm salesman from Razor Finvoy, based in Finvoy, quite Antrim. Yeah. And the reason you're here, put under the spotlight, is because we had Cavernland with us doing a little bit of a grass demo, and we talked about a disc, and it just so happened to be, with you being our local dealer, you had one yeah. running a demo. So we asked, you supplied, you helped us get it set up, but tell us a little bit about the disc. This is a quali disc, a Farmer 3000. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, basically that's a three meter disc machine. Mm -hmm. It's based on a Farmer spec type machine. You're working with two rows of discs, mm -hmm. 520 mil in size, running with a ActiPack roller on the back. So Farmer, what are you getting at here? Is there a bigger range? Yeah, or? The, the, the Farmer is based on a shallow work machine, which suits most Farmers working with grassland reseeding, cultivation work, you do get a Quality Disc Pro, which is a slightly bigger machine working on a bigger 600 mil disc, which will work on deeper groundwork basically. Yeah. The basis of what we were after was Farmer Gareth, obviously, you know, the setup yeah. here were based at HQ. Farmer Gareth wanted to reseed a 16 acre field, right. and he didn't want to plow it because it was a field that he thought wouldn't sit plowing, yeah. i.e. there would be a week's worth of lifting stones. Yeah. <laughs> and we tried it last year, we went out with a disc and we then came in and, and sowed the grass seed after that and it worked very well and he, to get these higher sugar, he's seeing the benefit yeah. of the high sugar grasses and what we're trying to encourage here at Grassman and I think you guys as well is farmers need to look at their grass crops like crops mm -hmm. and keep renewing it. So mm -hmm. the idea of this machine was to make it ready without too much fuss, yeah. speed. But then we mentioned about, we'd like to try a different way of sewing it. And next thing, this arrived and you and Brendan yeah. fitted it on. What have you done? Yeah, <laughs> well, basically that's another option on top of the machine. It's not just a cultivator. There's a seeder that you can mount onto that. It's an ADRL 200, fairly basic seeding machine. It can seed rape grass seed you can even do whole crop heavier seed bigger seeds with it as well depending on your situation but the the main idea of it is it can be used as a one-man operation speed is one thing if you've got ground sometimes sits on suitable ground stony ground for instance you can go in there with that disc the stones won't be pulled up like a plow might be pulled up for instance we understand not every soil type in this country or in any country will suit this the pl there's still a big place for a plow obviously but it's a, it's a very good option for people reseeding. Yeah. And for any grassland farmer that's trying to yeah. get the most out of his grass, reseeding is a big, big thing. Oh, it is. And I mean, the, the science is there to prove that. The dairy men, the beef men all know that the new swards gives them more sugar yeah, content, right. which has given better size, which has given more milk from forage, which yeah. is, is really and truly the name of the game. Yeah. But watching the drill work, it's actually, it's incredibly simple looking. I'm not saying that it's all straightforward, yeah. but it's pretty much the way it's mounted. It's well out of the way. It's dropping straight onto the wee spread plates. There's a lovely even spread of yeah. grass seed, which is one of the yeah. things that you know you need to achieve because the last thing you want is your grass and lines. Yeah, that's right. And there's eight outlets from the drill, and they're spaced out evenly across the machine and it drops it in just behind the discs in front of the ActiPack, which gives a wee bit of consolidation behind the drilling lines, or the drilling.
obviously raise a fanboy, I suppose the Cavernland range of over the years have been lots of moors and tethers yeah. and all the rest of it and ploughs. I mean, everybody in Ireland knows about the Cavernland plough. I mean, they're the, they're, they're the number one, but there's a lot more to the range and I think that's what you're looking to try and yeah. that message you're looking yeah. to get out there between yeah. desks and drills yeah. and whatever else. Yeah. The, the KV portfolio is huge. Cultivation line, there's dozens of machines going right from basic ploughing right up to the six metre trail drills and you've got every type of disc cultivator, tine cultivators in between. Like it's, there's, yeah. there's a lot of options there that can be looked at for, for farmers in this country as well. well it is. Will you take this set up here? Uh, what arrived was the disc. Yeah. The, the collie disc arrived up on its own on a pallet. A That's couple right. of days later arrived the drill. Yeah. Yourself and Brendan, who's yeah. in your me mechanic for you guys, arrived out and what what are we talking? I'm going to say about an hour. Yeah. An hour. She was yeah. fired Minus up. Minus the head scratching. It was about, a, about an hour. <laughs> There's always a wee bit of head scratching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? It was a very simple effective system. Gary, who had, you know, had never he had never worked with that type of a system before with the help of Farmer Garris 155 and mm -hmm. the week yeah. GPS and the field mapped it out, got his head around that and looking across the field it seems to be a nice pretty much spread of grass there. Pretty much that machine, hook it on in the yard, it's not like a plough where you have to get every field different and set, like if you get your depth set you can set the depth with the ActiPack roller in the back. There's spacers goes in on the rams. Once you get their depth set, three point linkage up and down. It's yeah, simple, so. simple but, and fast. And but on that first run, when we were going into the, the the lay ground, on that first run, we pulled it with the fast track there, and Gary was trying to get her opened out a bit. We were, we were looking not just at the disc. We had an interest in the tires, yeah, the fast yeah. track how it pulled it yeah. and he was just sitting there at 16, 17 K. I thought the soil at one point was going to go into the next county. Like yeah. it really was chugging mm. up the soil and I think yeah. we made a, like a TikTok or two about it because it, it did look cool. We're not here to try and talk people out of a plough. That's not what this is about. No, no, that's right. Yeah, there's, there's always a, going to be a of course, place for the plough. Like and, yeah. But yeah. as an option and thanks very much to Raise for allowing us the the, the, the disc to play yeah. with and also to Cavernland for backing yeah. us up and throwing, <laughs> throwing out the drill yeah. to get to, to, to showcase that because I think it's a great investment for a farmer. I think farmer Gareth here thinks it's a great yeah. idea because you're always wanting to change and, and up the swords and it's only whenever guys do it and the, there's that old saying out there in the dairy industry, the milk jar never lies. Yeah. When yeah. you're starting right. to get more forage from grass. Yeah. Well, we do see potential in that type of machine, like going forward for, for the job that it's made for now. And between ourselves and and Cavernland, the boys at Cavernland now, we uh, we think there's potential for them machines now in the country, definitely.